If you would like to use your DJI Pocket 3 as a webcam, well, it's very simple. You take your DJI Pocket 3, you look at the bottom and you should find that USB-C connection. So just connect it to your computer and you should be fine unless, well, you need to set it on your desk. You will find that it's a bit difficult to do with the USB-C connection at the bottom. This is why you can use that battery device that you can connect on the camera, under the camera, and use a USB-C connection over here and set it directly, oops, on your desk, or with the tripod with that little screw at the bottom. You can also use that device, which is the very same thing, but smaller without battery. That can also fit with uh, the tripod. So once you have that, you can sit your camera just like that. And now it stand and you can use the USB-C connection right over here. I will just show you the screen like that and I will connect it through the USB so you can see what happened when I connect it. It is now connected. You will have three seconds to select webcam or file transfer, or it will select the last settings by default. And now just like that, as you can see, now what we have on the computer over here is the screen of the camera. It might not detect it automatically. Your computer should detect it as a webcam automatically, but on Zoom, Skype, or whatever the, sof the software you use, you might need to select it um, in, the fee uh, in, in the option somewhere. Now, uh, you can have access to some features. If you swipe up, you can select between 1080p, 25 or 30 frames per second, or 1080p, 50 or 60. I guess it will depend on the software, but you can't go 4K with the webcam. Then you can still use, uh, if you double press on the joystick, it will recenter the gimbal. And if you triple press it, it will move to the other direction and actually because i have the uh, face track enable i can move in a direction to another and yes it will follow there is another thing that you can do and is to use the joystick over here to use the zoom isn't it that wonderful <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much that's it that's as much simple as that to use you connect it and select it on your computer and it should be done pretty much automatically. You have the choice between file transfer or webcam, just select webcam and that should be very easy to connect. So I hope this video was helpful.